Hey, this is Kevin from kevinsguides.com and welcome to the intro to Joomla 4 series. So in this series, you're going to learn how to install, configure, and manage all the key areas of the Joomla 4 content management system. We're going to go through all the basics of building a website with Joomla. The only prerequisites for this course are access to a computer that you can install things on, basic understanding of how to use computers, you know how to use a mouse and keyboard, that's pretty much all you sh should need to know. And then HTML and CSS is helpful, but if you don't know HTML, that's fine. You do not need to know HTML to get through this. What we're going to learn, this first chapter, we're going to talk about what Joomla is, how it works, and I'm going to go over some essential definitions. Then we're going to go through all these other topics that are pretty much the basics of Joomla. So we're going to install and configure Joomla on a local test server. Then we're going to learn some administrator essentials, global configuration type stuff. You're going to learn how to edit articles and manage them in categories. We're going to work on menu systems and site navigation settings, how to manage users, how to use templates and modules, how to use extensions, how to optimize your site for performance and basic security. And finally, we're going to wrap up with some search engine optimization. All right, what is Joomla? So Joomla is an open source content management system that runs on a web server. The web server must support PHP and MySQL. PHP is the programming language that Joomla is written in. And MySQL is a type of database that Joomla uses to store all the information. So you don't need to know how to code or program in PHP or write MySQL queries. That's not necessary. Joomla takes care of all that for us. It's used to create dynamic websites with lots of functionality so users can log in and do things on our website. We can have more content being built by multiple users. The site can update and change as needed. So it's pretty powerful compared to just like a static website that is just something that just is fixed and doesn't change. And finally, Joomla can be used to manage content in the form of HTML articles, hence the reason it's called a content management system, but it also manages users and much more. Some advantages of Joomla. It's able to handle large collections of articles. It's highly configurable with hundreds of excellent extensions. It's open source and free with a decently active community. It has built-in multilingual site support, so if you need to support multiple languages for your content, that's an option. It has extensive user management capabilities and permission handling, so we can decide which users are allowed to do what very specifically. And it's developer-friendly, so if you know a little bit of HTML and PHP, you can create your own extensions for Joomla fairly easily. Joomla versus other content management systems. So there are lots of content management systems out there, and they each have distinct advantages. Joomla is the third most popular CMS after WordPress and Shopify, at least at the time that I'm recording this from the website I was looking at. So WordPress is by far the most popular one out there. Over half the sites on the internet run WordPress in some form. It's great for small and medium-sized websites, especially blogs. It was originally developed as a blogging platform, but you can use it for online stores and company websites and all sorts of things. So it's a good content management system. Shopify is great. It's easy to use. And if you want to get set up with an online store, you might want to check Shopify out. Joomla is best for managing large collections of content. So all those articles, if you have a, an informational website, a news website, a magazine type website, Joomla is going to be good for that kind of thing. And it gives us great control over what users are allowed to do what on our website. So we can say, this user group is allowed to write articles. This user group is allowed to view articles. This user group is allowed to manage other users and things like that. So it makes it ideal for larger organizations, schools, and internal corporate websites. You can still use Joomla for online stores like Shopify if you wanted to. And you can also use it for blogs if you wanted to. So those are all things you can do with Joomla. 
This is a simple diagram kind of outlining how Joomla works. So we have our web server with all the files Joomla needs to run. And it also needs to support PHP and MySQL. Now those are pretty standard technologies that you're going to find even on the most basic web host these days. So even if you're on a budget web host paying $5 a month, you're going to have PHP and MySQL. So Joomla will run on pretty much any web server. And then our two core types of users, there's a lot of different types, but the most important ones to worry about are just general registered users and guests. They're the people at the bottom here that are viewing the website and they can register accounts, post comments, place orders, things like that. And then the administrator is the person who's allowed to make changes to the website, change the settings, change the templates, say edit content. They can do pretty much anything on the website. They're the ones who configure everything, make it work. Joomla does its magic with that configuration settings. And then it spits out a web page to the user when they request it. So now we're going to get into some key terms that are essential to this series. First term is the front end. So the websites normally have a front end and a back end. The front end is the part of the website that users and visitors see. It's where all your, the main part of your website is. So in the screenshot behind here is just the default Joomla installation. You can see at the top, there's a header, there's a menu, there's a search feature, there's this big um, image taking out most of the space in the front, front and center, like a, a featured image. And if we were to scroll down, we'd see more articles and things like that. The back end is where we add content, change settings, manage users, and do all the other important admin tasks. The global configuration is where the site's most important settings are saved. So things like the database connection, the name of our website, our email system, that's all in the global configuration. Extensions are what make up Joomla websites. There's two primary types of extensions, we'll say. We have core extensions that Joomla is comes with. They're built into Joomla and they just make everything work. You need them for Joomla to run. And then we also have a bunch of different types of third-party extensions. We can just go on the web, download them like any piece of software, upload them to our website and install them. So if there's a feature that Joomla does not have that you want to have on your website, you just go find an extension for it or pay a developer to make an extension and install it on your website, then you can have that extra functionality, whether it's a community form, an image gallery, an auction site, whatever type of functions you need to add to your website, you, there's probably an extension out there that can handle it for you. The template is what gives the website its layout and style. So different websites, of course, have different templates and we can customize our templates with color schemes, custom branding, things like that to make our website stand out from all the other websites on the internet. An article is the primary form of content in Joomla and they are HTML documents. So we write up an HTML document, Joomla saves it in the database. And when a user asks for it, if they are permitted to access it, Joomla generates the page and sends it back to the user. A category is a collection of articles. It's how Joomla manages articles. So we take all of our articles and we can sort them into different custom categories. The administrator is the person who manages the website or persons who manage the website. What you see is what you get is what this acronym stands for, W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. And that just means it's an editor that takes whatever we put on into the editor and it spits out some HTML for us. So it's kind of like a word processor. You could think of it as a slightly dumbed down version of Microsoft Word, but instead of creating print documents, it creates HTML documents. So when we're editing articles and things like that, we're going to use the what you see is what you get editor. A user is anyone who's viewing the website. It could be you, it could be some random person on the internet, it could be a user with an account, but anyone who is viewing your website is a user. The menu is how users navigate your website. 
So on kevinsguides.com, you can see I have a menu bar at the top and then some drop down menus. And that's just how users get around your website. And menus are highly customizable in Joomla. So in conclusion, those are the essential terms you should know about. In the next chapter, we're going to learn how to install Joomla on a local test server. And if you ever want to read these guides in written form, you can go to kevinsguides.com. Everything I just talked about is written down there in the intro to Joomla series. So thanks for watching. Bye.